What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Aaron with Aaron's Aquatics here and I got a couple updates for you. Some of them small, some of them real big. Let's go ahead and start with a small first. First of all, I don't know if you guys can see real quick, um, I've added in a power head on both sides, but you can see this one a little bit better just to kind of get the flow moving. I've also been able to find that uh, some of my driftwood has sunk for the most part, except for the Jesus log up here. I don't, I don't know why I'm calling it that, but this thing, just does not want to sink, no matter what I do. It's just like, nope, fuck you. I'm gonna stand up on one side, because that's how I do. So that's one little thing to talk about. The other is this. This is a uh, plant from a Planted Aquarium Central. I picked this up, um, I believe this is my uh, Crypt uh, Windy, Windy. I'll put it in the description. I'm terrible with scientific names. This is my crypt plant for both of these tanks. I got one for each. I'm really excited about this. I absolutely love this plant. Okay, so enough with the small updates. Here's the big one. My blue velvet shrimp that are upstairs uh, attached to my 55 gallon have hatched babies. The, the, the one female in there that was buried decided to uh, hatch already. Now, when the babies, when, when the buried uh, female came, I had no idea how far along it was. Um, you know, it could have been a week, two weeks, three weeks, who knows. But right now, we do have a problem, and that's that we have little shrimplet babies. Now, there's no way that you can see them in this video. They are so, so small that my camera can't possibly pick them up. So now my current dilemma that I'm stuck with is, what do I do about them? I. No, everything I've done to keep those shrimp inside this hang on the back tank without them getting into this my main aquarium is 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 hard enough. Keeping shrimplets out of it, impossible. I just hope that they don't get inside. If they do, I hope they survive. Um, my fish will probably try to eat them anyways, but as, I'm just happy that my blue velvets are doing good. They're good enough to molt. They, I've seen a couple of their molts. They're good enough to, instead of dropping their babies, their eggs um, in transit, they decided to uh, give birth to them. All those are very positive. It means my water parameters are doing good on my 55. It means that they're happy, they're comfortable, um, and we should be good. Now, I did get this. I didn't realize I would be needing it as soon. Let me try to get in that. This is uh, some of my uh, fish food, well, shrimp food, of uh, Sungro Shirakura Microorganisms. Um, it's all in Japanese, so it's kind of hard to read, though there is a somewhat English on the back. I don't know if you guys can see this. The, uh, the grammar on this is absolutely fantastic. You can pause the video if you really want to read it, but it gives general information on dosage and all that. But I did put a little bit of this inside of my hang on the back filter just, just to make sure that the shrimp are okay. Um, I've been feeding them um, regularly, just some of the, big, the bigger size food pieces inside the tray. Uh, but so far, the blue velvets are doing really good, and I'm really happy to see them thriving in this environment. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, unbox this plant from Planet Aquarium Central. Um, just so you know, uh, I went back and took a look. This is a uh, Cryptocorin Wenti. Um, I absolutely love some of the colorations on this type of crypt. It's a fantastic plant. The one thing I don't like about unboxing plants, or just opening plants in general when you get them online, is this stuff. Fiberglass. Fiberglass insulation. Great product, cheap as hell for them to ship, but the last, like, I, I've got a couple cuts on my fingers and my hands, stuff like this. Oh man, if it gets inside there, GG. Hopefully though, if I'm careful enough. Ooh, they, they packed this pretty well too. Okay, so let me set this down. Move all this junk. What do we have here? Looks like it's okay. Well, at least it feels like it's still nice and moist. That's what she said. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Ooh, hello. Well, that's kind of odd. So, I've got these, like these two little ones kind of off to the side. I ordered two pots, right? So here, here's a, here's a whole pot. Um, it's looking pretty solid. The colors are okay. And the root system is incredible. So here, here's what I'm gonna do. I, I don't know why I have these, these two off to the side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a bleach dip of these. That'll take me five minutes or so. And then 
I'm gonna fast forward through that. Nobody wants to see me dipping plants in bleach. That's ridiculous. Nobody comes to YouTube after work and it's like, oh fuck man, I'm so excited for Aaron to show me a bleach dip. Um, I'm a little bit excited though. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. <sighs> Motherfucker. All right, the new plant is in. The crypt, as you can see right there in the back, an absolutely beautiful piece. I'm really liking it. It creates some really nice shade coverage right below the, the base of that rock. I really like it. The rock placement, I think, is, is permanent. These, uh, the wood pieces, they're not. They're just sitting there and ready to sink. Um, now, I was planning on doing this in front of the camera live. However, as you can see, this storm of a mess occurred because in the back right, where the crypt currently is, still looks beautiful, if you can actually see it, um, I didn't have enough substrate. I didn't realize that I didn't have enough, so, well, I scooped up a little bit more with my trusty old blue cup, and I had to put some in there. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. This was just supposed to be a quick update. Um, so what do we have? The blue velvets, doing great. They're thriving. Um, they're clearly having babies, even though they're in this hang in the back piece of crap, a tank. Hopefully we can move them to the uh, six gallon relatively soon. These tanks coming along great. Um, added the plants to it today, the crypts. Um, the crypts are looking great. I'm really excited to see them take off after a little bit after being uh, stuck and traveling for so long. But besides that, uh, next time we'll talk more about maybe some of the shrimp that I'm planning on having for these two tanks uh, and future updates on just how the tank is progressing in its uh, cycle. So thanks guys for watching. This is Aaron's Aquatics. See you next time.